Okay, I got the bulldozer to run, and it runs pretty good. I just rem I remember that it has to run on 11.1 .1 volt instead of uh, the 7.4 volt that I would like because of the track frames and the gear motors I use. They're 12 volt gear motors, and really it doesn't have any power whatsoever when it's not on 11.1 .1 volt. 11.1 .1 is actually pretty. It's pretty strong. It's hard to stop. Well. Everything works. Put the ripper on a servo instead of hydraulic. Works better that way. The radio system I got, that, that's the best way to go. Just to flip the switch. I don't have to try to mix the pump, the valves, or anything like that. And on the inside, I changed out the valve system that I had and put a two valve system in it. Now this is the old valve system by the same company, Magon HRC. Now, you see that there's a little piece of paper in there, and that's how it looks after about five minutes of running. So these valves need to be rebuilt. That little loop was because that particular uh, circuit is the one that leaks the most. So I put that there so it won't, won't leak around the seals. Now, here's the big problem. I've changed the oil about three or four times, and this is how it looks after a run. It's all gray and cloudy. It's almost like it's got water inside. Now, I did talk to a couple people, a couple of guys online, and a person in my church who does hydraulics for a living, and they told me that there's moisture in the system, and that maybe since it's been sitting so long, that the seals are dry, and they're basically, the grayness is old rubber. They told me I need to put some kind of conditioner in the valve. So what I'm going to try to do after their suggestion is a little bit of Marv's mystery oil. Let's turn it around so you can see that. And see what happens. I'm just going to put a little bit in there and see what it does. So let's do it. This is kind of tricky. I'm trying to do it with one hand. I should just turn the video off and come back on. Okay, I got the oil in the valves in the tank here. Ran it through a couple times, and this is how it looked when it came back out. So let's see what happens. After this, I think I might have to take a trip down to the hydraulic store if and when ever <laughs> we get off this lockdown. You know, this is these are my lockdown projects. Excavator works pretty perfect except for the tearing of the boom, but that's a different story. So, next time, I'll try to make a video of it working. Later.